Greetings, fellow captains. In previous episodes, we told you about battleships and cruisers. Today, we'll talk about aircraft carriers. The emergence of this type of vessel sparked fundamental changes in naval warfare. The first aircraft carriers were little more than bases for reconnaissance aircraft. Because aviation technology was so primitive, carrier-borne aircraft had not yet been developed into a separate class, and these ships had limited attack capabilities. However, progress was inevitable, and early multi-wing aircraft soon evolved into easy-to-handle and reliable biplanes, and then robust monoplanes, capable of carrying heavy torpedoes and bombs. At the same time, carrier-borne fighters were designed to hunt the enemy's strike aircraft. The United States and Japan were the first to see the true advantages of naval aviation. Along with the United Kingdom, these nations operated the most numerous and advanced carrier fleets in World War II. US and Japanese aircraft carriers differed, both in terms of their mobility and secondary armament. However, their key difference in the game is the performance of the aircraft and the composition of air groups. Each aircraft carrier has several squadrons, capable of achieving various missions. For most carriers, torpedo bombers constitute the main anti-ship force. Their torpedoes can destroy thick-skinned and slow targets, such as enemy battleships and aircraft carriers. Dive bombers are more effective against light ships and destroyers, as the HE bombs that they drop can inflict heavy damage and cause fires. Meanwhile, carrier-borne fighters can test air superiority. Their firepower against other aircraft often exceeds that of ships' anti-aircraft guns. In addition, all squadrons can be used for reconnaissance. You can adjust the composition of the aviation on board your ship. By emphasizing one or another aircraft type, you can change the carrier's style of play and your role in the team. All in all, the great range of missions and the diversity of capabilities make aircraft carrier gameplay unique. The first US aircraft carrier was USS Langley, a converted collier. She opens up the US carrier branch in World of Warships. The ship carries only two squadrons, making her a relatively easy introduction to the carrier class. Langley's two squadrons give the player the chance to practice and perfect the skill of aircraft management. All carriers that follow her in the branch feature increasingly better armor, speed, secondary armament and anti-aircraft systems. But most importantly, the number of squadrons increases, the planes are faster and more durable, and their armament, including torpedoes and bombs, increases in power. At tiers 5, 6 and 7, a player can get light and escort aircraft carriers, Bogue, Independence and Ranger. These ships will help you to master different game tactics. Each can carry three types of planes, opening up more options to the player. Tiers 8 and 9 are heavy aircraft carriers, Lexington and Essex. Compared to their predecessors, these ships have substantial armor, relatively strong secondary armament, and naturally significantly better aircraft. At the top of the US tech tree, you'll find the aircraft carrier Midway. When built, she was the world's largest carrier and even carried jet fighters on board. American fighters are worth a separate mention. Having more planes in their squadrons, US aircraft carriers can dominate the air, allowing them to defeat their Japanese counterparts. Nevertheless, Japanese carriers have something to offer in return. Japanese carriers encourage a user to play more aggressively. Japanese air groups are smaller, but there are more of them. The key power of these carriers consist in airborne torpedoes. Few ships can avoid hits when attacked by several squadrons at once. The Japanese aircraft carrier branch begins with Hosho, literally Phoenix in flight. Unlike her American counterpart, Hosho was purpose-built as an aircraft carrier, which puts her ahead of Langley in most characteristics. However, her small hangar capacity does not forgive mistakes, and you will feel the loss every time one of your planes goes down. The next aircraft carrier, Zuiho, Lucky Phoenix, was converted from a submarine tender. Larger and faster than her predecessor, Zuiho can carry more planes and offers more tactical capabilities. At Tiers 6 and 7, Ryujo, Prancing Dragon and Soryu, Blue Dragon, embody the legendary Japanese dragons, featuring powerful attack air groups and better protection. They enable a player to tackle multiple tactical tasks, from conducting reconnaissance to delivering heavy blows on enemy ships. Sh 
Shokaku and Taiho, Soaring Crane and Great Phoenix are tiers 8 and 9 aircraft carriers. Not limited by international treaties, they demonstrate the might of the Imperial Japanese Navy. With thick armor, high speed and large air groups, these ships are every bit on par with their enemies at these tiers. Heavy aircraft carrier Hakuryu White Dragon crowns the Japanese carrier branch. This warship was drafted but never actually built. The very quantity of her air groups will make enemies nervous. The carrier can operate eight squadrons at a time, so escaping her strikes is quite a challenge. In our next episode, we will talk about the true masters of avoiding enemy attacks. Get ready for a review of the most reckless and fierce warriors in World of Warships, the Destroyers.